Hey guys, it's Andrew from Cable Bullet, and today I want to show you how to find the angle, also known as the pitch, of your stairs. This angle is really important for making sure that you have your handrail running parallel with your cables. I'll show you how to find the pitch with an angle finder and an alternative method using a speed square and a level if you don't have an angle finder on hand. Let's get into it. You can find a dedicated angle finder for $10 to $15 at just about any hardware store. To get your angle, just take a straight edge and lay it on your steps. Ideally, you want to cover as many treads as possible to get the most accurate angle. Next, take your angle finder and set it on the straight edge. The number the needle lands on is the angle of your stairs. Now, your treads will have slight variations throughout your stairs, giving you a different reading depending on where you take it. Generally, it's not a big enough difference to dramatically impact your install, but if you want a more accurate reading, you'll want to find the angle using the inflection point of your railing. The inflection point is the point at which your cables will bend. That'll be at the face of your tensioners, or on any post where the tensioners are integrated, it'll be at the face of the post. To get your angle at this point, you'll need to run your hand row from the inflection point at one end to the inflection point at the other end, making sure that the height of your straight edge is consistent on both ends. Here's an easy way to do that. Take a scrap of handrail or wood and cut it in half at 45 degrees. At each end, you'll clamp the pointed side against a pair of tensioners or the face of the post, depending on what system you're using. Each point should be at the same height level with the post top. Now, set your straight edge on each point and then set your angle finder on the straight edge. This will give you the angle that most accurately matches your cables. If you don't have an angle finder, you can also find the angle using a speed square and level. Using either the tread or inflection point method from before, take your speed square and set the pivot point against the top of your straight edge. When indexing the angle, you'll reference the top of your straight edge, not the bottom. Take your level and set it on top of your speed square. Adjust the speed square until the bubble is showing in the middle, or your level. The point where your straight edge runs with the angle mark on your speed square is the angle of your stairs. That's all there is to it. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below, or give us a call with any questions. Start your project today at CableBullet.com.